Hello, and welcome back to a new video, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make my mitosis thumbnails in Photoshop. Now, the version that I'll be working with will be Photoshop CS6. You can get this version for free, you can crack it, there are multiple videos on how to get it. Now, to begin, you're going to have to click on File, and then click on New. Now, you're going to copy these settings. These are the default settings for a uh, thumbnail, 1280 by 720 now, you have to copy these. The resolution doesn't matter. Um, I just set it for 300, just, I don't know. And then you're gonna have to set your background contents to transparent and then click okay. Now you're gonna get this uh, blank screen that is okay. Now I'm gonna open my personal pack. This pack features the uh, mitosis background, the uh, mitosis virus, and the uh, Gario skin outline. Uh, I use this pack every time so i'll put a download link in the description below if you guys want it now once you have the file you're going to click on the background and then hold alt on mac and drag click and drag onto the other file and drop it and i'm just doing some small adjustments so it can fit well and there you have it and now we're going to drag the virus we're going to do the same thing as we did with the uh, background and hold option and click and drag onto the other file in place and that's all you have to do i like to place the uh virus uh in the beginning because it kind of uh it kind of makes your uh thumbnail like an outline like where to place uh the um skins like for a pop split you might want to put it in the middle like somewhere in the middle or if you want to put it like let's say you want to show a trick split a reverse trick split then you're gonna put it on the sides. But other than that, that's my tip on how to use viruses on thumbnails. Now for this thumbnail, I want to show a reverse trick split. So I'll be making two viruses and to duplicate a virus, you're gonna have to click on the virus. Make sure you click on the virus and uh, click and drag. Remember, click and drag with the option key, holding it and place. And now for the skins. For the skins, I use the newest Agario skins. I get it off from a website online. The URL will be in the description below. But the problem about that website is that it doesn't give you the skins without the transparent background. Like it doesn't give you the circle, you know, circle outline. Now that is easily fixable on Photoshop. So I'll show you how. So you're gonna need to uh, create a new file click on new and then set the dimensions to 1000 by 1000 and then click OK once you've done that you're gonna drag all the um, all the skins that you saved from the website onto the uh, document and then I'm just clicking this all right then you're gonna hide some of them hide all of them actually not except one and then adjust adjust it a little bit and hold on and then you're gonna click on the uh, circle tab the outline and click click on eclipse tool and then set from shape to a uh, path that's important and then you're gonna go from each corner hold shift on Mac and then hold shift and drag drag onto the other corner now I'm just see a little bit. I think it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to try to you know try to make it good. Now you're gonna go to uh, layer, and then you're gonna go to uh, vector mask, and then scroll on to current path and click on it. Then it'll give you the uh, transparent background. That's all you need, and then you need to save as as PNG. Uh, PNG it has to be PNG not JPEG not anything else PNG I'm just gonna rename it like this and, and click OK all right now to do a shortcut instead of doing that for every single skin you can hold click on the circle button and then control hold alt and drag it onto each of the uh, files the pictures
Now, once you have all your PNG skins, you're going to drag all the PNG skins onto your document. And then click OK, OK, OK. And then go back to my pack and click on the, uh, the skin and then copy layer style. And then you're going to highlight them all. Hold Command. And then right click and select Paste Layer Style. Now your skin should look like this. Now next, you have to choose uh, the skin that you're going to uh, work with as the main uh, that represents you. Like for example, I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to put it up top. Now to resize the skin, click Command T and then hold Shift and drag to the size you want it. I like to rotate it as well. To do this, you must click and drag around the selected box. Now, I like to put my skin in the middle because that's where like the all the action is going to take place. So now I'm speed running through this part. I'm just putting the other skins where I want them to be. You don't have to copy this exact layout. It ruins the originality part as I said earlier. Some tips, I like to fill every spot on the background. Leave some gaps between the skins and the background. This is so that the viewer can see that it is a mitosis video. For these next few steps, I'll be adding some effects. This is optional, but you can add the flame border. You don't have to, but I recommend it since it makes the, uh, the thumbnail more eye popping. All these add-ins will be in the description below, by the way. Now to remove this black background, it is very simple. All you need to do is go to the effects bar and then select linear dodge add, and it'll turn like this. Now, sometimes I like to change the color of the flame border. I like to match the color from each end with the skins. To do this, you click on the color change tool and then click on hue and saturation. Now, the only bar you're going to mess around with is going to be the top one. The rest don't mess with. Now, you have to play around with this tool until you get the right colors you want. Only focus on the border. Don't focus on the skin's colors. We can fix that next. Now to make the hue change on just the border, you have to hold the command and right click and click on merge layers. And there you go. Add the vignette border to the file. Make sure the vignette border is on top of your flame border. I'll leave this vignette border down the link in the description. You need to use rulers to get the vignette border in the middle. Hold shift and drag two times from the edge and let it go. Do the same with all the edges. Now once you have all of your rulers, it's time for the vignette border. Now hit command T, but don't hold shift anymore to resize it. Just resize it to the rulers you placed earlier. Make sure it hits every ruler. And once you've done that, go to the fill and change it from 100% to around 75%. And now for the last step, lighting. This is so the thumbnail looks brighter. To do this, go to the select eyedropper tool and click on the color of the fire border. Then go to the brush tool and choose this brush. Now to change the size of the brush, for windows it's shift plus or minus, and for Mac it's the brackets. Now lightly click on the, the sides, don't spam the brush, now I like to add the white color in the middle of the edge. Then change the effect to screen or hue. It really depends. Now do the same with the other side but with different color using your eyedropper tool and on a different layer. Now once you've done that, make another layer and do like so. And you are done. All you need to do is put back the uh, vignette border and there you go. 
Now to export it, you go to file, save as, and then uh, change the uh, file type to uh, JPEG, and then rename it to anything, and click OK. And then put it at your max settings, and then click OK. And you are finally done. All you need to do is upload it to YouTube with your video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how I make my thumbnails for mitosis. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if I should keep making videos like this. If you guys were stuck in any part of this tutorial, ask them in the comments below. I'll do my best to give an answer to you. As always, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.